Hi Aries, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your love and romance reading for June 28th to the 30th. Wow, okay, a wish fulfillment. King of Wands, making it happen. Queen of Cups, could be with a water sign. All right, Aries. Today I'm using the Gustav Klimt Tarot. I'm going to pull eight cards as usual, and then I'm going to pull two love oracle cards. I'll tell you the significance of the placements as I go. I've already pre-shuffled. Let's give it a little bit more and then cut the deck. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 28th to the 30th. What's going on in love and romance for Aries? June 28th to the 30th. What's going on for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 28th to the 30th. All right, let's cut the deck. First card is you, Aries. Seven of Pentacles. This is them. Emperor. Situation. Six of Cups. Outcome. Five of Cups. How you see them. Judgment. How they see you. Magician. Your challenge are obstacles. Ten of Wands. Their challenge is the Knave of Pentacles. On the bottom, again, we've got the Wish card. Okay. Sometimes in here there's a very... Portly, kind of, is this a woman? Is this a man? It looks, who knows? It's about excess sometimes, the Nine of Pentacles on the lower polarity. Too much good food, too much good wine, okay? Live in the life uh, that's full and rich. Otherwise, it's about wishes coming true, generally speaking, wish fulfillment. So let's see what else is. Seven of Swords, something sneaky, starting over, not quite getting it all right in the beginning. Could be, a, yeah, Six of Swords when you leave, Seven of Swords when you start over. Justice could be about a breakup, a, a divorce, a separation, legal matters. Let's not go that far. Let's stick to the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment energy for the underlying energy here. I've been getting a lot of these cards where there's people, you know, waiting on somebody and then they get this reunion. So here we have Seven of Pentacles and this is you, Aries, is waiting. Seven of Pentacles, you put energy into somebody, real energy. You invested time trying to nurture this relationship and you're waiting for something. You could be waiting for a ring. You could be waiting for the commitment, the professing of love or whatever it is waiting okay to get what you've put in the person you're dealing with is the emperor so it could be somebody who's older old school a successful authoritative boss energy um the patriarch okay somebody who's who's a leader who has a, sometimes control issues very uh commanding energy okay so it could be a business person, leader of a company, head of a company, whatever. I don't know. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, with the emperor, it could be Aries, another Aries. Your situation between you two is a six of cups. Six of cups is <clears throat> nostalgia. That's why they had this little kid here. It's about warm, fuzzy feelings. Somebody who pulls on your heartstrings. Somebody from your past. Okay, this is like, you know, you've been waiting for this person. And here it is, this reunion. This is somebody who could be from your childhood, high school, community, back in the day. Okay, that you have strong emotional ties to the smells, the sights, the music, the time and that place in your life, it, it pulls on your heartstrings, that kind of energy that person has with you, okay? The outcome, though, is five of cups, and there's showing regret, guilt, um, inability to appreciate what you have because you're so focused on what you lost. Um, see this person here? The face is over the heart. This, like, you know, shock or upset. Her face looks calm and serene. So with the five of cups, they show sometimes three cups spilt and two cups upright. The spilt cups is, is this face. And the, the calm face that you show the world is the two cups is the relationship you're in. So this is about 
either you're in a relationship and somebody has come back into your life that pulls on your heartstrings and makes you remember those things and you feel a great sense of missing or hurt or loss about it that you're fixated on. Um, and the person that you're with right now, the two of cups, the relationship you have, whoever that be with, you, you're, you're kind of neglecting. So the, how you see them is a judgment energy. And that means this is how you see their energy. Okay. The judgment card comes up for me in love and romance when just like Gabriel, Angel Gabriel blows on the horn, raises the dead. It's when somebody who you think is long gone from your life, that those memories that you're dead and buried, all of a sudden comes back and gets woken up again. Those old issues, those old, like, you know, memories are raised up again. It could be for them, that kind of a situation. It's also an epiphany, an aha moment, a realization. So you see them as somebody who's going through this, okay? Like that they're going through these emotions with this connection. Um, how they see you is the magician. So they see you in a way that you have manifested all of this, okay? That you are somebody, it's a little bit in love and romance, a player vibe to the magician, somebody who can manifest whatever they want because they have all the tools. That means the right um, things to say, the right appearance, you know, being cultured, having good looks and being, you know, well educated and all those things. So you can manifest love and romance easily. So they see you as somebody like this with the magicians, kind of like in love and romance, shooting fish in a barrel. It's easy for you. Okay. Your challenge or obstacle is the 10 of wands. So the Ten of Wands is great stress. It's a lot of work, um, pressure, success, pressure, work, stress, a burden. Um, the Ten of Wands is a completion card because it's a 10. So it implies that the time to relax and kick up your feet is all the way or like close around the corner. Just one more push and then you can chill. So your challenge here is you're under a lot of pressure and stress and this it feels like a lot of work okay even it could be the person that you're with right now um it could be a lot of work it could be very practical based it could be very stressful and a lot of pressure and that's what happens sometimes when you know the person you're with things get old stale boring and and it gets really too real and too stressful and all the fun and the passion is gone and then it just turns into work so it could be that kind of an energy the person you're dealing with their challenge or obstacle is the knave of pentacles page of pentacles it's either to offer a real you know offer of commitment okay some kind of real tangible you know thing to towards a relationship or it could be that they have a child who could be an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn and that's something they consider um knave of pentacles is like putting down an investment on something trying to start a business trying to get something off the ground um the beginning steps it's it's a it's as a an offer in in romance it's like giving a gift or reaching out saying, let's go out this date, this time, whatever, something real and practical, basically. Okay. So it could be, that's an obstacle. I don't know, or a child in their life. So let's pull the romance angels by Dorian Virtue. Can we get a card please for Aries, sun, moon, rising and Venus for June 28th to the 30th. What does Aries need to know? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 28th to the 30th. Can we get a card for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 28th to the 30th. What's this on her face? Sorry. Some kind of soot or something. Can we get a card for Aries? There we go. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And it fell on the magician saying, you can do it. You can manifest this if you want to. And it's saying, you know, <clears throat> the first person you think of is probably them. 
But here we're doing a reading for this emperor energy, right? So it's saying this could be the one. Now, does that mean it is the one, the only one, the soulmate twin flame? No. It's saying they'd be a good match. I don't know how you're going to take that because some people are all or nothing. Like it has to be it. But this could be the one. It's saying this could be somebody good for you. Wait, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life right now. So their divine timing is like there's angels, spirit guides, relatives, ancestors, all those in the spirit realm trying to make this happen for you. And it's saying because of divine timing to be patient, it's worth waiting for. You're waiting. You are waiting. Seven of Pentacles. All right. One more love oracle card. This is Amira Ceylon's love oracle. Can we get one last card for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 28th to the 30th? Now, these cards are meant to be read intuitively, but because it's hard to find the meanings. Oh, geez. It just fell out like that. See, karma, brunette, female. On the bottom, we've got dating queen. Okay. And then ice queen underneath that. So... They have a few sentences for each card, and I'll read it to you. So karma, this is a karmic situation. This is about, you know, you got past life history to repeat here. It's some, some reason, some lesson to be learned. Okay, however you want to take that, that there is this reconnect. The brunette female is saying there's somebody that is a brunette female in this reading. It's probably you, straight up. Dating queen. Look at this lady getting gifts. Look at these gifts. I was going to say, you know, is this giving gifts? Because the Page of Pentacles offers real tangible things, you know. Um, and for them, it's some kind of challenge or obstacle. But the thing is, the emperor is somebody who's old school. They court. Okay, they hold the door open. They pay the bill, like that type of thing. So for them to have Knave of Pentacles as an obstacle or a challenge... I don't get it. Like maybe, I don't know. Okay. Cause it's supposed to be somebody, you know, who's offering this page brings gifts, brings real things. Okay. So dating queen is showing that you're already somebody who's like this. You know, you might be somebody who takes care of themselves, likes to be in the spotlight, high vibes, high energy, powerful magician, as I said, right? They see you as the magician. You got everything it takes to manifest, like shooting fish in a barrel. Dating queen. There you go. And like you already get gifts and this kind of, you know, energy from people. Maybe they're trying to hold back. Maybe they're like, I'm not going to be one more chump that waits for her. But you're waiting for them. It's saying worth waiting for. This could be the one. All right, Aries, that's your reading for the 28th to the 30th. I'll have your July readings out after these are done. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.